What's up guys, it's Kinsey and welcome back to my channel. Nice to meet you. If you're new, before we get into things, make sure you subscribe down below and hit the bell so you don't miss any videos I post. Today's video is gonna be a little bit different. I'm not full glam, which is kind of weird. And I just woke up from a nap, so I'm kind of a little bit scatterbrained. But when the Lord wakes you up and tells you to film a YouTube video, you get up and you film that YouTube video, period. You don't wait to put glam on. You get up and you do it. So that is what I'm doing. As you can tell by the title, today I'm going to be talking about our lovely friend, Temptation. And temptation is something I choose to kind of put under the rug when I talk about my faith. But God told me someone needed to hear this. So if I can touch at least one person through this, my heart will be happy. I'm really scared to talk about it because I hate feeling tempted and I hate feeling that way. <gasps> but we're just gonna get into it. <laughs> These past few weeks have been really rough, really rough. A few of you guys have noticed I haven't been as active on social media or even on my YouTube. I've been slacking so much and I apologize for that, but I have just haven't been in the space mentally to film. My brain will not shut up. There's constant thoughts running through my head, 25-8, and I've been so tempted to turn back to my old ways and my old self and the things I used to do and the people I used to hang around, and that's a hard place to be at because I never thought I would be tempted to be like that again you know i really hate that for myself because i feel like i've come so far and right now i just feel stuck and it's hard to explain because i kind of shut down when i talk about it because i'm scared i'm gonna sound stupid or crazy but temptation gets to me and the devil knows that and he likes to use it against me it's mentally draining to have to go through that there's nothing else no other way i can think to put it i feel like i've been in a constant battle with my mind and my holy spirit and i feel like my body like it's just so weird because you just feel like there's like this fight going on inside of you and like one half of you like, no, just do it. And the other half is like, listen to your Holy Spirit. And it's just like so much because you feel like torn. Like, you know, like you have the angel on the shoulder and the devil on the shoulder. That's how it feels. And I never thought I would be back there. And that's why it's so, it's been mentally triggering for me because I never thought I would be back here. I never thought I would feel this low again. I never thought in a million years. I thought I was past it. The first thing I just want to say that I struggle with when walking through stuff like this, I'm not alone. You're not alone. Temptation is something that happens to everyone. Every single Christian has those seasons in their walk of faith where they are tempted and honestly, the devil tries to tempt us every single day. It's just part of this walk. And that's something I had to realize that I was not alone. Even Jesus was tempted. Jesus was tempted by the devil. Then Jesus was led by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. Matthew 4, 1. Jesus was tempted. So you're not alone in this. And you're not a terrible person because you have temptations. You're not. The thing that matters when you are tempted is how you respond to the temptations. That is what matters. Do you give in or do you stand strong in your faith and know that God has got you through everything? The response is the hardest part for me because oftentimes I shut down. Like these past few weeks, I shut down. I wasn't in my word like I was supposed to be. 
every time I would try and pray, my brain would literally go 5,000 places. I couldn't focus long enough to spit three words out. Every time I tried to listen to praise music, I shut down, had a panic attack. I couldn't do it. I wasn't responding well. It's the response that matters. Everyone gets tempted. Everyone. Everyone. Christian or not, everyone gets tempted. But it's how you respond to that temptation that actually matters. I mean, don't get me wrong. Temptation matters. Like, it's a thing. It's real. But the response to temptation is what counts. The number one thing that I hate, hate hearing when I was talking to my mom last night about this, I finally, like, just gave in to the Holy Spirit and was like, okay, Lord, I'm giving this up to you. I'm done fighting. I'm done. She was like, are you in your word? And I was like, She's like, you need to be in your word. And I was like, mom, I literally told her, I was like, I hate when you say that, like, ugh. But it's true. This guy right here. Love it. Read it. Be with it. Spend time with it. Mm, it's your bestie. Because this right here is your key to fighting Mr. Devil. Okay? This has everything you need in it to fight the enemy let me tell y'all a secret satan hates when you read this satan hates when this builds your faith satan hates when you get knowledge from this he hates it hates it with a passion so that's why you need to do it you need to be in your word and this is something i struggle with i'm not gonna lie I struggle with this thing right here. I'm not in it as much as I should be. Definitely not. So I'm not trying to point fingers because I haven't op cracked open this baby besides to read a verse or two in church in a good two or three weeks. But it should be your bestie. Bestie for the restie, as I like to say. Because this right here is what is going to get you through that temptation. And this right here is what's going to help you to make the conscious decision on how you respond to that temptation. This right here is going to clear your mind and remind you of all the good things that God has done in your life and all the good things he's going to do and it will help you to stay focused to be able to fight that temptation. The second thing to fighting temptation is to pray. Pray about it. God wants us to come to him for everything good thing in your day pray bad thing in your day pray temptation pray struggling pray everything that goes on throughout your day throughout your life throughout your week you need to be praying god wants us to treat him like a best friend you know he wants us to come to him whatever we need anything we need God is there to listen to us and to answer our prayers. We oftentimes, as Christian, try to hide our sins, hide our temptations because we think that God will be disappointed in us. But let me tell you, you cannot get through those temptations if you aren't praying. You cannot get through those hard times if you aren't praying. Don't put it under the rug because, surprise, God already knows you did it. He knew you were going to do it. He knows your whole life. So you might as well talk to him about it and gain some knowledge on how you can get through it. Praying is your BFF. These, this right here and praying are your two besties for the resties, okay? I'm telling you. I'm telling you. God doesn't call us to be perfect, okay? I, we, especially me, I'm a perfectionist down to the T. I have to have every little thing perfect, every little thing my way, and if it's not, I'm gonna go insane. I'm trying to work on it. I'm praying about it, okay? I'm, I'm working on it. But God never called us to be perfect. Not once in the Bible does it say, you have to be perfect to be a Christian. Not once in the Bible does it say, you have to be perfect to call on him to pray. Not once in the Bible does it say you have to be perfect to call yourself a Christian. Not once in the Bible does it say you have to be perfect to spread his light. God never called us to be perfect. So don't put that pressure on yourself. Okay? Because I do it all the time. 
I'll have one bad thought and I'll be like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, Lord. I'm such a terrible person. Like, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I add so much extra stress to my life because I'm trying to fit like this perfect Christian mold that doesn't even exist, okay? <laughs> You're not a terrible person for having those thoughts. You're not a terrible person for being tempted, you know? God never called us to be perfect. God just called us to spread his light and love him and believe that his son died on the cross for us. Lastly, I just want to share this verse that I found and I thought it was really cool, especially like this stuff I'm going through and it goes perfect with this video as well. 1 Corinthians 10, 13. No temptation has overtaken you except what is common to mankind. And God is faithful. He will not let you be tempted beyond what you can bear. But when you are tempted, he will also provide a way out so that you can endure it. No temptation has overtaken you except what is common to mankind. Everyone has temptations. God is faithful. And he will not let you be tempted beyond what you can bear. That is all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and comment down below any video requests you have. I recently took a little question poll on my Instagram and you guys responded with a ton of awesome video ideas that I'm super excited to dive into. So make sure you subscribe down below and hit the bell so you don't miss any videos I post because who knows? It could be your request. If you would like to stock any of my social media, everything is down below in the description. My DMs are always open for prayer requests or anything along the lines of that, as well as the comment section. I want my comment section to be filled with so much love and positivity and happiness. And if you have a prayer request, I'm sure there are tons of people that watch the video that would love to pray for you. So comment them down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. It really means the world. Thank you for continuing to come back to my channel even after I only post for two weeks and then you know whatever <laughs> I appreciate you guys so much thank you for the love on my Instagram and the love on my video we're like super close to 700 subbies and that is insane I never thought I would pass like 500 subscribers so you guys are awesome and I love you so much and I will talk to you soon